हेलो एवरी वन आई एम साइली वेले माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज डेटा बेस्ड लैंग्वेज एंड एस्पेशली वी आर गोइंग टू सी डेटा डेफिनेशन लैंग्वेज ओवर ही है सो डेटा बेस्ड लैंग्वेज हियर इन अ डेटा बेस्ड मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम हैज अप्रोप्रिएट लैंग्वेज एंड इंटरफेसिस टू एक्सप्रेस डेटा बेस क्वेरीज एंड द अपडेट्स डेटा बेस्ड लैंग्वेज कैन बी यूज टू रीड स्टोर अपडेट मैनिपुलेट द डेटा इन द डेटा बेस डेटा बेस्ड लैंग्वेज इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर पार्ट्स दैट इज डी डी एल डी सी एल डी एम एल एंड डी सी एल डी डी एल स्टैंड फॉर द डेटा डेफिनेशन लैंग्वेज इट इज यूज टू डिफाइन डेटा बेस्ड स्ट्रक्चर और द पैटर्न इट इज यूज टू क्रिएट द स्कीमा टेबल्स इंडेक्सेस कंस्टेंट्स और इफ यू आर यूजिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएटेड डेटा बेस्ड मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो यू कैन यूज अ डी डी एल लैंग्वेज टू क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट्स बाई यूजिंग द डी डी एल स्टेटमेंट्स यू कैन क्रिएट द स्केलेटन ऑफ द डेटा बेस then dml dml is nothing but the data manipulation language it is used for accessing and manipulating the data in the database then data control language data control language is used to retrieve the stored or saved data here dcl is a execution is transaction it is also called as a rollback parameters it is also has the rollback parameters into it uh, then last one is a tcl that is transaction control language tcl is used to run the changes made by the dml statements TCL uh, can be grouped into the logical transactions. So one by one, we'll see the uh, different languages over here. So for the data definition language, we are going to see uh, the statements like uh, create. Create is used to create the objects in the database. Then alter is the next statement which comes under the DDL, which is used to alter the structure of the database. drop is a statement which is used to completely remove that particular object from the database once you say the drop uh, of the particular object it will be removed completely from the database it can't be recovered back truncate is used to re uh, remove all the records from the table rename if you want to uh, rename any of the object it may be the table or index sequence synonym then you can use the rename statement which comes under the ddl comment statement is used to comment on the data dictionary If you use the DDL statements, DDL statements are auto committed. Once you fire the DDL statement, it will be automatically saved in the database. It will not be rolled back. Even if uh, you are having any logs with you, it can't be rolled back. So be sure whenever you are firing the DDL statements, it is uh, you have to ensure that whatever the queries you are firing, uh, which comes in the DDL, which is correct and uh, which will affect permanently on the database. the next is the data manipulation language here uh, different statements which comes under uh, dml is select which is used to retrieve the data from the database it may be anything like uh, if you want to see the uh, table or specific data which is related to any of the entities so you can use the select statement then next statement is insert if you want to insert some of the values into the table then we can we are going to use the insert statement then update If you want to make some changes in the existing data within a table, then we are going to use the update statement. Delete statement is used to delete the all records from the table. There is a difference between delete and the drop. If you fire the delete statement, the records will be removed from the table, but it is not the permanently uh, removal of the data. If you say the drop or the truncate, that will be permanently uh, affected the database. so delete uh, can be roll back uh, but in case of drop and truncate which comes under ddl that can't be roll back the next statement which comes under dml is a merge it performs upsort op uh, operation that is insert or the update operations the next statement is call it is used to call a structured query language or a java sub program the next is a explain plan uh, it has the parameter of explaining the data and the um, last statement which comes under dml is a lock table to avoid the deadlock situation we are going to lock the tables uh, th that part comes uh, when we are uh, we have to avoid the deadlock situation when the bottleneck situations are occurring at that time we can uh, to maintain the concurrency in the database we can use the lock table statement the next uh, language is a data control language so here uh, the dcl execution is a transactional and it has a rollback parameters so here uh, some of the tasks that comes under the dcl that is grant and the revoke grant by using this particular statement we can give the access or the privileges or the permissions to the uh, any of the user uh, to access the database 
and revoke is uh, completely opposite to it if, if you want to revoke uh, remove the permissions of the user then we are going to use the revoke statement the next statement is a transactional control statement uh, language tcl is used to run the changes which is made by the dml statement uh, tcl can be grouped into the logical transaction uh, some of the task which comes under tcl that is this we can call it as a statements commit uh, this is nothing but the save a saving of your what are the transaction you have made on the database if you have to save that then we have to fire this particular statement that is commit rollback suppose this is nothing but you are undoing the changes which we have made by using the dms statements if we are firing the ddl statement and then we are uh, firing this uh, tcl statements it won't be accessible because once you say the ddl that is auto committed and if it is auto committed we can't roll back it so transaction control language has two statement that is commit and rollback which will be applicable to dml statement what are the changes made by the dml statement we want to undo it if we want to save it then we are going to use this particular transaction control language statement over here now we'll go for the sql create table syntax over here uh, if you want to create the table in a database this is what the syntax um, you have to write the create table then table name then number of columns which we want to be in your table you have to write down the table uh, column name uh, over there column one uh, data type of that column then column two column three in this way you can go on adding the columns here we have given uh, some example over here uh, create table students the name of the table is students id is what my column number one int is the data type of, of it and i have given not as a constraint over here that the particular value which comes under this particular column which should not be null then name is the next column i have taken and where care is the data type of it and in the bracket i have given the space which will be allocated for name attribute and again for this particular name column i have given the constraint that is not null the next column i have taken as a age and the data type of it is a integer and again i have taken the constraint as a not null it's uh, optional that you can give the space for it uh, if it's possible for you you can give the space uh, in the bracket format and then uh, address is the next uh, attribute and the type of it is a character and i have given the space as a 25 here i want to make the id column or the attribute as my primary key so if you want to define it you have to write it in a primary key in a bracket id or else you can write id in in front of it also you can write the primary key okay so in this way you can create the table if you want to know okay, like how many uh, uh, fields are there or how many attributes are there and what are the constraints of it what is the data type of it then you have to fire the query like describe so this is the uh, if you are using the mysql server you, can, you have to write the dsc students um, DSE is the describe keyword and the students is a table name over here so it will display all the uh, description or the all the uh, information of that particular table in this way so you can see the field type uh, null the key uh, default and the extra so under the field you can have the number of uh, attributes which are used in that particular student uh, table and the type of uh, the column which we have taken like id is a int uh, which uh, constraint we have applied so here the id is my primary key so in the key column you can see the primary over there so that means in my table students i have id as my primary key okay you can uh, cross verify by using the describe uh, statement yes so here i create a table using the another table how you can create the table by using the another table is there a syntax of it create table name uh, create table table name as select column one column two from old table name you have to write down the table name which which is already existing and in the where clause you can put the conditions uh, here is the one example we have given create table employee copy as select employee id first name email from employees table so employee uh, table may have a uh, different uh, columns more than these three columns there may be uh, present over there but i want only three columns to be there in an employee copy table which i am going to create now so this is what the syntax of it suppose you have to set the uh, primary key with the create table statement so how to write it create table employee employee id not null first name work here not null uh, this is this constraint i have taken then last name is the attribute i have taken the uh, 
data type as a wear care, CT wear care, and primary key over here I have taken as a employee. So in this way also you can set the uh, primary key. This is what all about it.